I just had to go ahead and make a video on making the horseshoe nail rings. Also known as prairie rings. And I've got me a little jig made up just for doing this. And this be a little short video, but that'd be I reckon. So I've asked my little doggies. I asked them. Do you want me to make some of them prairie rings? Make a video on it. And they said, yeah, let us get our spots. Let us, let us take it. They said, yeah, let's, let us get to our positions and get ready. So she took her position. And she took her position to try to get underneath my feet. It's my bending jig that I made up just for these horseshoe nail rings, prairie rings. I've got the right here. See right there I've got it angled for different different size metal or whatnot. And also the I can make different sizes with these nails of putting the head either further up which will let me make more bend around the horseshoe nail or I can go further down and it'll make a smaller bend. I'll stick that nail in there. I, I'm using number eight, size eight horseshoe nails. I've got it in there. I'll hold the end of it with my finger. Just putting pressure on it and then I'll just start tapping it with a hammer working it around. Once I get so far, I'll just go and grab the whole thing. That's how, that's how I started. Now to finish them up, take just an old socket extension. I slip that over it. Put it down in the hole on top of this, on this, in this anvil. Put it in the hole in this anvil. And I'll give it a couple of taps. And it's Right there it is wrapped around it. I'll take my hammer and I'll finish wrapping it. Now, I've got a horseshoe nail ring, prairie ring. I'll put it on, I want to make sure, and I'll twist it around, move it around on my finger to make sure there's no burnt edges that's going to cut cut or hurt somebody's finger. So, I feel like I made that one just a little too fast a while ago. And I'm going to go over the initial bending of it again. Now, the reason I bend it like that, leaving just a little bit of the tail, tail end sticking up like that, is because it makes it easier. It makes it easier whenever I slide that over that socket and I stick it in the in that hole on the anvil. And I tap that down on it. Makes it a little easier because that hangs over just a little bit more. And it helps catch a little better. So now, so now, whenever I stick it in the hole in this little small anvil, it's got a little bit to catch on where I can, this socket's already, it's already got a little bevel on it that helps go down helps get this ring to go up on it it to go down inside the ring whenever I tap on it and it don't take much of a tap just enough to just get it started and then I'll just finish it up 
wrap it around that socket. And as you can see, it makes a, a nice, good, smooth, round bend. And also, right there at the tip, tip of the nail, it leaves it kind of at an upward angle a little bit. That way when you stick it on your finger, you ain't got to worry about that sharp end cutting into you. And also, right there on the other side, you don't have to worry about it there either. So as you can see, the, these little prairie rings, they're, my hands are dirty from that old dirty anvil, but these little prairie rings are pretty simple and pretty fast to make. Which, I mean, when you, if you ain't ever did it before, it, it's going to take you a little bit longer to figure it out, but once, once you get it figured out, and get you the jig made just like that, or similar to that, and use that method, well, you can make, well, I've made 20 of these in five minutes. Step on this jig a little bit more. As you can see right here, this little flat piece, and then this round piece right here, I've got this one offset just a little bit past the center point of that rod. I didn't want to go all the way out here with it because then it, it, it was like that and it seemed like it made it bend a little bit more of an odd shape. So I just went from the back side of this little, this flat piece of metal and I went just almost even with the center of this round stock. And of course, I put that little bevel in it for different sizes. From the way I understand it, the way the horseshoe nail ring got its name as a prairie ring was a long time ago during the, when the pioneers were moving from the east to the west as the, this one group was crossing the prairie this guy fell in love with this guy's daughter this man told him he said you're not going to marry my daughter until you get until you have a, wet, a diamond wedding ring to give to her well, as they was crossing the prairie they came across the blacksmith so the guy went and he asked the blacksmith if he could make him a diamond head horseshoe nail and turn it into a and turn it into a ring. So the blacksmith made him a horseshoe nail ring. So that now the guy has a diamond ring to give to the man's daughter. So the the horseshoe nail ring not only is it known as a prairie ring, it's also known as a prairie wedding ring.